Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Yu-Gi-Oh! health status. Let's talk about it. The health of the game is quite significant. Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point of in point in time, is it healthy? Is the status of Yu-Gi-Oh! in a great place, a place of healing, a place of life? I would say, if you're to look at Yu-Gi-Oh! through the OCG lens, Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a great place in if you're on the OCG side of a country. Uh, cards are cheap for Yu-Gi-Oh! You can access every single card that you desire. Um, cards as well. Since cards are print, since you are more favored by Konami, there are more things you have access to. The ban list, everything in terms of customer service, everything, all, all of it is all accessible to you. And so it's a great place to be. And if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh in an OCG, in an OCG um, land or state, however, if you're in TCG, Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit different. It's a little bit darker and it's a little bit in a precarious situation. We are usually from the TCG side of things, nickel and dimed out of every tune. We see our OCG brothers get everything that we would like, but we don't. It's completely treated as heaven and hell, where heaven is OCG and hell is TCG. That's not to say that there are not good things in the TCG. They are, but those are few and far between. We are starting to get better things in TCG slowly but surely things are beginning to improve with the last two years seeing with Rarity Collection 2 and with the ability of getting rid of floodgates as well. There's been a constant effort in both OCG and TCG in, the, in our latest ban list to get rid of floodgates as well. And this is something I think I need to mention. I think there is a general sense that things need to change and we've been seeing some rapid developments of floodgates just vanishing in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think we've seen a lot of floodgates in Yu-Gi-Oh, the most prominent ones vanish. We even have in TCG one of our first ever floodgates just being outright banned. So generally Yu-Gi-Oh is in a I would say precarious situation if you're in TCG a great situation if you're in OCG. That's all I've got to say, really. Let's move on to continuing on this topic. The overall conclusion to all of this? Well, I would say Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a dangerous position in TCG. In TCG, currently at the moment, there are other card games that have propped up. Other card games are providing, are filling the hole, and are providing things that Yu-Gi-Oh! does not provide. The price support being bad, everything in Yu-Gi-Oh! is failing on all manners of fronts. You look at how Yu-Gi-Oh! is talked about online, you look at it, and the general sentiment for this game, in TCG anyways, is a very negative a cycle it's not positive at all whereas in OCG side of things with Yu-Gi-Oh there's a little bit more hope because the game is played to how it's supposed to be played it's a casual it's a hobby it's a game and I think that's the difference I think with TCG I think there needs to be a disassociation and we need to see Yu-Gi-Oh as a hobby not as a competitive um, thing or something that you need to win at all costs because God knows you're not going to be getting high level prizes in TCG anyway if you do play in the TCG state of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's what it's about. It's about our state of mind and it's about the state of things and accepting that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a card game, it is a hobby, and hobbies should be treated with respect, 
but should be treated as well with some seriousness for the fact that they are fun endeavors to do and should not be taken too seriously. It's one of the reasons why like, I'm cutting back on the game myself. I'm just going to be playing it you know, on a casual level and just accepting that I just don't like high-level Yu-Gi-Oh. I think I've tried high-level Yu-Gi-Oh and I don't like it. Um, but I do love the game. I it's too I think Edison for me is a bit too slow, but I do like mid tier Yu Gi Oh as I like to call it. These are decks which are too strong for Edison, but too weak for the top tier Yu Gi Oh. They just sit just there in the mid range in the mid tier. So I would say some would class them as rogue, but around there. And that's all we've got to say. In this video we come to the end of this video so as I like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! master my fate right is in your hands 